Emi Udoka doesn't seem concerned, says the defense is fine, but Steph Curry has been a problem. What do you expect from Steph this evening? I expect for him to understand the assignment. Like I told you, he was going to get into the NBA Finals and understand that I'm winning Finals MVP, win, lose, or draw. And he's been fantastic, averaging 35, Jacoby, and being in the gym, as you know, watching him make some of those shots, it's effortless how all he needs is an inch, and all of a sudden it seems like he takes a mile. And the one thing about Steph, as a terrific ball handler, he'll get out in transition, get a layup like that, get a screen like that from Wiggs, and then all of a sudden he's hot, shooting runners off one foot, going left off the dribble, going right off the dribble, as he may say. So when he says making them work, I mean probably putting a lot of more pressure on him, try to take away his airspace, but that's easier said than done because he is Steph Curry and he got unlimited range. Absolutely, and one thing that's been interesting as this series has developed is before it started, we talked about all the motion offense and how he runs off of screens and how he moves so much without the ball, but they've been using him a lot in pick and roll situations with, as, with him as the ball handler. And he just, as you mentioned, needs a sliver of space, just a tiny sliver of space to get his shot off. And it's been going in at a crazy clip. What do you think about the way that they sort of changed their offense in the series? Well, the one thing about Steph, he's just being uber aggressive. And once he gets going, the team starts treating him like Wu-Tang Clan. They keep feeding you and feeding you and feeding you. And he equal opportunity employer. Look, that, that's Jason Tatum on his right shoulder, Jacoby. He was on his right shoulder and he still made it. That's, that's an incredible shot maker in Steph Curry. And so some of those shots, you, you, you just gotta, you gotta do what I said when I ran into him after the game. Just acknowledge it was historic and hope that it doesn't continue to happen. That's what you do. It's been a great series for Steph Curry so far. It's an even series, it's a good finals. And here's what Jalen Brown, your namesake of the Celtics, had to say about the Celtics' mindset heading into game five tonight. Obviously, I think we could be in a better position than we're in, um, but we're not. Uh, it's 2-2. Two -two. Um, still nothing to hang your head about. A lot of great basketball is still in front of us. so. We take what our mistakes and what we learn from and you apply it as best you can going forward. Um, I, I still think we're in a great spot, so I'm excited to see how we respond. It's the, the biggest stage in the world, you know, and I'll take our group, our guys um, versus anybody. 7-0 after a loss, the Celtics are this postseason. They're, even in this series, he says they're in a great spot, even though they haven't gotten good performances from Jason Tatum. Do you expect Tatum to sort of finally sort of be the superstar that we all saw earlier, specifically against the Bucks? So the one thing about Tatum, Jacoby, and I was talking about this after game one or two in this series, Jason Tatum seems to miss a lot of shots in the restricted area. Yep. You know how you like to say, take your knuckles to the rim or go dunk it. We talked all season about how he's gotten stronger and, and able to play through contact. And his three-point shooting ability has been better than his two-point shooting ability. As a matter of fact, he's been historically one of the worst two-point shooters in the NBA Finals. So that won't win the Boston Celtics the championship. You need your best players to play their best on the biggest stage. And in Golden State, that's what they're going to need from him if they're going to make this a series that they can actually win. Jalen, you look at these numbers, I mean, it just looks crazy when you look at the, you know, how, how nine, eight and a half points ahead of him is Kenyon Martin in two-point shots in the NBA Finals. I expect him to be better. Do you think it's the shoulder that is bothering him? Uh, well, at this point in the season, possibly, but we're not, we not, like Biggie said, we live out there, so don't go there. It's, you know, everybody playing with something, and I'm pretty sure he'll let you, he'll let you know that he's playing through some pain there also, but, but Jacoby, he just got to be better. He got to play through contact, got to play stronger, and got to be more aggressive. Jalen Brown has been the most effective player in a Celtics uniform. He sort of carried them, especially early in games. He started that big run in the fourth quarter. We all talk about the three-point shooting, but it was Jalen Brown who started that fourth quarter of game one to get them the win on the road. Do you expect a big game from him this evening? Well, he's going back to the Bay where he attended college, represents the A, that's where he's from. But I appreciate his shot making. Like, not only catch and shoot, but then off the dribble. And his aggression, in particular, in the first half, first quarter, has been something that they were able to rally 
in game three of game three around. And so I anticipate he's gonna need to come out with that same aggression. But also, you talked about Tatum, you talked about Brown. If they get over 20, you're gonna need somebody else to get over 22. So is that gonna be Marcus Smart? Is that gonna be Al Horford? You know, I love the energy that Time Lord is always bringing, catching lobs, blocking shots, but they're gonna need one of those other two guys like Horford and Smart to get you 20 as well. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.